We do basic assurance reviews and personal outcome measure interviews as well as personal outcome measure training. We go out and talk to people that are receiving services, um, talk about how their lives are going, what is good about their lives, what can we do to make them better. You just sit, you sit and talk to people. That's one thing that's wonderful about this process is we talk with people. I mean, who better, what a better job in the world is that than just to sit and talk with people that get supports. And we also teach classes uh, teach classes about how to use the tool for the personal outcome measure interviews um, and those are a lot of fun. Um, I, I really enjoy teaching those classes. I really enjoy when we do the basic, re basic assurance reviews is that we sit down with direct support staff. It just comes pouring out from them. It makes a huge difference because you put people at ease. Um, talking to people instead of having your nose in a book the whole time. You know, you're talking to the people that you support, you're talking to direct support staff, you're talking to management, um, and so you're getting all the ideas of everybody that's come together and then you share those ideas at the end of the review to make the agency, hopefully the agency will take those ideas and, and make it better for the people that they support. Well, we ask a lot of questions about how people chose where they're at, um, if they got to see other places, what other experiences they've had. Finding that people aren't always getting the things that they want. Um, sometimes they're not being asked a lot of the questions that lead to finding out what they really want to accomplish. They want to be able to maybe go down the street to, to get a pop or a soda and, um, and not have so much staff with them. Um, they want steady staff. They want staff that'll, that'll be there for a long time for them. Sometimes they're they have this big plan um, that talks about a lot of great things on paper and then when you ask them what they really want to be working on, it's something completely different. We spend a lot of time talking to the people instead of looking at paper. The paper doesn't assure anything to us in a basic assurance review what people tell us in their personal outcome measure interviews, they tell us in focus groups, they tell us in targeted interviews. That's what really means something. It's amazing at when somebody is able to afford a cell phone or get to go down the street, that how much improvement their lives have. A lot of the people we support, they've been doing the same thing for year after year after year, and we quit asking them what they want because their life's good, right? They're happy, they're satisfied, but how do we give them new experiences and challenges for their future? With the self-advocate mentors that we have, their, their progress has been amazing. They were great people to begin with, but they have learned to um, come to other people, to work with their peers to improve them to uh, help them to be able to stand up and speak for themselves. And it's just a wonderful thing to watch. And to watch them grow and become leaders is, is very satisfying to me as well. One of the things that I think is very important about accreditation as well is getting it outside of the agencies and the department and bringing it to the general public. The state of Tennessee has made the commitment to say, okay, we want the lives of the people that we support to be the best that they can be. They want them to be the same as you and I. And so if every state employee starts believing in that using person first language, thinking about the person the same as you and I are, um, then it, it has to trickle down. It has to trickle down to everyone and then that only improves the lives of the people that we support. When we talk about these things, we need to stop and look back at ourselves and measure what we want for other people's lives by what we want for ourselves. We all want to grow. We all want to have meaningful relationships. We all want to have a place that we belong and that we feel valued and productive, um, as well as being healthy and safe. And the department has a big influence in that. When it, the way we look at people's plans, the way we support the provider network that we have, it's going to affect whether people are able to accomplish their personal goals, whether they're able to learn and grow, whether they're able to get the jobs they want, live where they want, with who they want. Um, it's all affected by us. 
I believe in it. I believe in I believe that I know, I've seen it make a difference in people's life. And you know, that's what this job is about, is making a, a difference for people. And that's what I wanna do.